All right, so we're just going to go ahead and cover really just our print setup. So um, I'm going to go down here. So now we have a site layout, and mine's a little rougher than yours, which is okay. But we have our site title block done. So again, we only want to have to create that once from your original plan. So from here, we're going to go ahead and go right click, mover copy, create a copy, and scroll down and just go move to the end. And again, I've done this a few times, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And now it just created a new, or pretty much an identical copy of, whoops, yeah, you can't even tell the difference, but it created an identical copy of our site plan, or site layout. So what we're going to do here is adjust this to be page S1, and I'm just going to put a period on mine so it stands out, but yours should just be S1. Okay, and then from here, a few different ways to do this, but again, if I toggle or hit my paper mode to turn it into model mode, I'm going to go ahead and try to find my structural plans. So again, on my first structural page, we're going to go ahead and show, I may need to adjust this a little bit. I thought I already moved it around. Yeah, this one's kind of cleaner. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and fit this in. So once you kind of toggle it here, then we're going to adjust, so this scale is a little bit bigger, so we're going to do one eighth to a foot, and again I mess with this a little bit, um, but this is perfect, so I'm going to hit paper mode, and everything fits in here on my first page, so again this is S1, and I should have put a text box in here, but that's okay, but we're going to change really just a few things, so I'm going to name the page S1, and I'm going to name this roof framing plan over here in my title block. And again, I want everything showing up right here um, on the roof plan to be my keynotes, general notes, vent calcs, as well as the trusses. So again, this should all show up on one page. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Move or copy move to the end, hit OK. So this just creates another sheet. Thought I did move to the end. Maybe I didn't, oh, I didn't hit the create a copy button. Yep, create a copy. Move to the end, OK. All right, now we've got another copy down here. So this sheet, will be S-2 and again I'm going to turn it to model mode first by just clicking the button here so it's showing up as model and then I'm finding my first and second floor plans. So again that looks pretty darn close. Move it to one eighth of an inch and once we're happy go ahead and hit your paper mode so it locks it in place. And again, whenever you're going to print, just make sure you type in LTS and dial it down to 0.33 so all your dashed lines show up. And make sure, too, with the bold lines now, this is the first time we're kind of drawing this, that this tool down here, the line weight, is turned on to make sure those beams are showing up. Okay, so again, I'm going to change my title block here, change the name. And again, if this is frustrating you, um, with your layout, again, don't move stuff here. I'm going to go back to my model. And let's just say I needed to slide something over. It's not too bad. We're just going to highlight everything. And I just kind of like double checking that I have everything highlighted. And then we're going to move here. So again, let's say you needed to move it a little bit further down. I like turning off my ortho mode to make it a little further down. And then I'm just going to check it on my page. Okay, that movement I just made in model mode <clears throat> completed it here. Do I have a finished one? 
Yeah, kind of. But I should have stolen this text over here. But again, you just want it to be S1 and S2. And these are the two sheets that you're going to be turning in. 